fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Before this exciting adventure, a word from our sponsor. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the oat cereal that's ready to eat, Betty Crocker mixes, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Say, when you get home from an afternoon of fun with a gang, aren't you sometimes so hungry you don't think you can wait till supper time? You don't want to spoil your appetite for dinner, but still you need a little something. Well, how about a nice cold glass of milk and a big square of warm gingerbread? Mmm, just the thing. And it's no trouble at all for your mom to whip up a batch if she uses Betty Crocker gingerbread mix. Everything she needs is right there in the package. She just adds water and it's ready to bake. Betty Crocker gingerbread smells so good when she takes it out of the oven, all piping hot and spicy. And you know what tastes real good? A big dab of whipped cream on top. Mmm, mmm. Have Mom bake some soon. Ask her to get Betty Crocker gingerbread mix next time she goes to the store. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fella. Are you Silver? Hooray! Two men rode along the trail toward Hilltown. One of them, Phil Martin, was young, about 25. The other was an older, rougher-looking man named Blackie Jenkins. For some time, they rode in silence. Then Blackie spoke. I've been your cellmate for two years. You never did say what you were in for. I just didn't want to talk about it, then. Want to tell me now? Sure, why not? It happened this way. A little over two years ago, I got a job at the express office in Hilltown. Working under an hombre named Sam Eaton, who was the express agent. I was green at the job and just did what I was told. Yeah, then what? Well, I didn't trust Eaton much. He went to the cafe a lot and gambled all the time. One day, he come into the express office. And taking a lot of loose papers from his desk, he brought them over to my desk. Say, Martin, I, uh, I have something here I want you to do. All right, Mr. Eaton, what is it? Well, I've been keeping the record of accounts on these loose sheets. The company's sending an investigator out this way. Comes every once in a while and... I want things to be ship shape for him when he gets here. I see. Here's the company account book the records are supposed to be kept in. Uh-huh. Yeah. I want you to copy what I have on those sheets into this book. And you write a neat hand much better than I do, and I want to make a good impression on the investigator. All right, sir. I'll come in and work nights so as to get it done. Fine, fine. I'll keep it neat and get it finished in time so I can check it first. It'll mean a lot to this office to have things neat and right. So I went to work and copied those sheets of paper into the book and gave it to Eaton for check. Then what happened? Well, he said it checked all right. At the end of the week, the investigator came. He was still going over the accounts when I left that evening. The next morning, when I went to the office, he and Eaton were already there. And so was the sheriff. The sheriff? Yeah. What for? I didn't think anything of it when I went in. But it wasn't long before I found out what was up. Good morning, Mr. Eaton. We're waiting for you, Martin. Howdy, Phil. Oh, hi, Sheriff. The express investigator asked me to come here. He wants to ask you a few questions, I reckon. That's right, I do. Martin, is this your handwriting in this account book? Yes, sir. The accounts in this office are short over $1,000, Martin. What? 
It's evident you destroyed some of the way bills so you could make the accounts check. I've asked the sheriff to take you into custody. I'll sign a warrant for the arrest on a charge of theft from the express company. Why, that's... I'll have to take you in, Phil. So you might as well come along quiet-like. But I didn't steal anything from the express company, I tell you. It's a frame-up, that's what it is. I didn't do it. Well, in spite of what I said, they wouldn't believe me. I was given a trial and sentenced to two years in territorial. Yeah, that's my story. <laughs> that dirty coyote eaten framed you all right. Yeah, he did. And now I'm going to get back at him somehow. Even if it means going back to jail for the rest of my life. Come on, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Meantime, the Lone Ranger and Toto had made camp in the hills outside of Hilltown. Toto, who had gone to town for supplies, returned and ringed up at the campsite. Oh, Scott, hold for that. Well, Toto, any news in Hilltown? Well, me see feller in cafe. Big, heavy set. Scar on left cheek. Him called Blackie. Oh, what about him? Well, him feller we meet some time ago. Him have gang. Him go to jail when you catch gang. Hmm, that sounds like Blackie Jenkins, who robbed the stage near Stockton with his gang three years ago. And that same fella. Me remember now. He must have just been released from prison. Ah, me hear him say that. Me go into cafe, him at table in corner with other fella. Me listen, hear what I'm saying. I'm sure glad to meet up with you again, Manuel. You see, I rode over here with a fella I met in prison. He's at that cabin we had along the river waiting I came in for supplies and to meet you. And what of this hombre you speak of, senor? Well, he's sort of a greenhorn at things, Manuel. Claims he was framed in the territorial and that he's going to get even. So? Gives me an idea. Folks around here know he's due to get out. And at his trial, he claimed he was framed. And just what is this idea, senor Blackie? Maybe we can even that score for him. Get away with a good lot of money. Let's go somewhere else where we can talk. See, go we'll right to the place where he is waiting. As we ride, you can tell me of your plan, Senor Black. Let's go. Them leave cafe and ride out of town on East Trail. Me get supplies and come back to camp. I see. I wonder who the fellow is that Blackie Jenkins plans to frame. Uh, me not know, Kimasabi. After supper, I'll put on a disguise and we'll ride into town. We might be able to find out if he really was framed before. Perhaps you'll need a little help to outsmart Jenkins. After they had eaten, the Lone Ranger and Toto prepared to ride into Hilltown. Removing his mask, the Lone Ranger disguised his features. Then, saddling Silver and Scout, he and Toto mounted. He's used to the big color. Scout! Scout! A short time later, they arrived in town and went into the cafe. For a short time, they stood unnoticed at the back of the cafe, watching a card game that was in progress. Then, as the door to the cafe opened, the Lone Ranger heard remarks that caused him to gaze intently at the man who entered. Hey, look who's back in town. Yeah, he must have just got out of prison. Sam Eaton better watch himself now. Oh, that must be the fellow Blackie mentioned. Ah, uh, that's right. Hello, Phil. Oh, Sheriff. Yes, it's good to be back in circulation again, isn't it? Yeah, it is, Sheriff. I'm wondering why you came back here to Hilltown. Any particular reason? What reasons I have, I'll keep to myself, Sheriff. It sounds better, Toto. Ah. I thought I ought to warn you, Phil. Seeing as how I'm still Sheriff here, and seeing as how me and a lot of others remember what you swore to do when you were sentenced. Warn me about what, for instance? Just to forget about trying to get even with Sam Eaton, that's all. Two years in prison isn't the kind of treatment that makes an Aubrey forget anything, Sheriff. For another drink, Phil? No, no more, thanks. There's the money for that one. All right. So long. So long. Come on, Tonto. I want to talk to Phil Martin. Leaving the cafe, the Lone Ranger put on his mask. Then he and Toto followed Phil along the trail for some distance. Finally, a bend in the trail ahead hid him from their view. A few minutes later, they rode around the bend, but he was not in sight. Look, he must have him not in sight now. That's strange. From here on, the trail is straight for some distance. I wonder if he turned off. Oh, 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 oh
Shotgun from left, Kimasabi. From behind Boulder over yonder. Yes, I know. That was just a warning shot. I got both of you covered in the next gal of cops. It's easy for us to rush him, Kimasabi. What we do? We'll humor him, Toto. Put your hands up. All right, mister. The next move is yours. Don't move. Come on, Harry. Oh, 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 boy, Hood. Master Hood, huh? I saw you and that Indian come out and wait on the cafe porch for me to ride away. I guess Eaton must be plenty scared to go and hire a couple of gunslingers to follow me. I'm not an outlaw, and neither is my friend Toto. That mask says different, Mister. Forget the mask. We followed you because we want to talk to you. What about? About a man named Blackie Jenkins. About Eaton. I don't savvy this at all. Now look, Phil, we came as friends, believe me. And you claim Sam Eaton framed you into prison. Your bitter feeling against him is more or less natural. I'm going to get even with him. You can count on that. That's what you've told everybody. And because of that statement, you're liable to be framed into prison again. Even though you might not make a move against Eaton. What do you mean by that? Before I tell you anything, Phil, I want to make sure you'll make the right moves from now on. Will you come with us to our camp where we can talk? I'll tell you what we found out, and then we'll make some necessary plans. How about it, Phil? All right, I'll go along with you. Good. It may be that if we plan well and move fast enough, we'll not only save Sam Eaton's life, but also save you from being blamed for his murder. Come on, boy. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. All over the country, in every direction, how you, how you doing is the question. And here's what the happy, happy, happy people have to say. Eating our weedies and the do, 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 and okay. Okay. Yep, take Mickey Mantle, born in Oklahoma. Star with the New York Yankees. From out west, where a man's a man. And what a man is Mantle. Say, Mickey's been eating Wheaties for years. Now listen, here's another champion with plenty of zing in his swing. Zing! That's a service ace for champion Pancho Gonzalez, a native Californian. He hits them hard, he makes them swish, and in the morning enjoys his dish of Wheaties. Sure, lip smack and taste tickling, rib sticking good. And there's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Keep on eating your weenies and you'll be doo-doo-doo and okay. Okay. Now to continue. The Lone Ranger persuaded Phil Martin to go with him and Tonto to their camp. There they told Phil what Tonto had overheard in the cafe when Blackie talked to Manuel. What are we going to do? It's up to us to prevent you from being blamed for another crime that someone else intends to commit. You have plan, maybe? No, nothing definite, Tonto. We'll discuss a plan as we ride toward town. All right, let's get the horses now and get started. Meantime, the sheriff went to Sam Eaton's room at the hotel. Well, Sheriff, come on in. Thank you, Mr. Eaton. Now, what brings you here? I came to warn you that Phil Martin's back in town. He got out of jail this week. Well, thanks for warning me, Sheriff. I'm going down to the express office shortly, and I carry a gun so I won't get upset over a weakling like Phil Martin. Maybe I ought to go along with you just in case. Oh, no, no need for that. Well, just as you say. But I'll sort of keep my eyes peeled anyway. I'll be getting along now. So long, Mr. Eaton. Good night, and thanks for coming over, Sheriff. And don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Leaving the hotel, the sheriff went to his office. A short time later, one of his deputies entered hurriedly. Sheriff, I found out something. Uh, what's up, Hank? What are you so excited about? I trailed that hombre, Phil Martin, from the cafe a while ago, like you told me to. Well, where'd he go? He started out of town, followed by two other hombres. On the way, one of them put on a black mask. What? They met up with Martin. I got around a bend in the trail just in time to see him ride away together. And then what? Well, they went to where the mask man, the other one, an Indian, was camping out. After talking a while, they headed back toward town. 
I let out by a shortcut and came to tell you. Well, I'll bet Martin tied up with a couple of vows and all so as to get back at Sam Eaton. You get some men together. And we'll ride out and grab them before they can do any harm. Hurry up now. All right, Sheriff. The Lone Ranger, with Toto and Phil, rode along the trail toward town in the bright moonlight. As they rounded a bend in the trail near the town, they were confronted by the sheriff and his posse riding the other way. We'll soon be at the edge of Hilltown. That's right. Maybe we go... Look, Kimasami. Yes, the posse. Oh, 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 oh. There they are. Keep your guns handy, men. Oh, 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 oh. We got all three of you covered. Don't try to go for your guns. Here, Sheriff. Look at this. A uh, bullet? Uh, what? Uh... A silver bullet. Uh, it's made of silver, all right, but that don't mean anything to me, mister. Then perhaps this note will mean something. A note? I don't savvy all this. I suggest you read it, Sheriff. Uh, let's see. Uh, signed by United States Marshal Drew of Pecos. Yes, my Indian friend Toto and I were on our way to Pecos. We stopped to camp the night near here when we learned about the plot against Eaton. How come the marshal sent you this note anyway? How come he trusts you so much, stranger? Well, we've helped the marshal in the past, Sheriff. And I've learned that there's a large outlaw gang operating near Pecos. And marshal Drew apparently wants us to aid him in the gang's capture. Isn't that right? You spoke of the plot against Eaton. That's why we came to stop Martin. Phil Martin doesn't intend to get even now, Sheriff. But we do know that two other men planned something against Eaton, knowing that everyone would suspect Phil Martin. Now, if they succeed, they'll eventually become vicious outlaw gang leaders. They must be stopped now. Turn around, boys. We'll head back to town and have the masked man and Indian go with us. Get up there. <laughs> A short time later, Sam Eaton was going over papers at his desk in the express office when the door opened and Blackie and Manuel entered. Well, what can I do for you men? The first thing you can do is to open the safe, Mr. Open the safe? What do you mean? It is not good to argue, senor. Hurry up. Get to the safe. All right. All right, go on. Open it. I, I am. Good. All right, get the stuff out of there, Manuel. See, si, senor. So, here is plenty of gold here. We hit just at the right time, seems like. There are bags of it. And put two of them in my pockets, Manuel. See. Si. Yeah, there they are. And this other one I'll carry. All right. Now that you robbed the safe and got that gold, what... Why don't you leave? <laughs> and have you run to the sheriff, eh? No, mister, we aren't that local. Well, what, what are you going to do? He asked what we're going to do, Manuel. Shall I let him guess? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now perhaps Senor Eaton has some more questions before we give him a bullet. You, you know my name. Oh, look, look, take the gold. T tie me up if you want, and then you can get away. Oh, no, no. You could describe us too well. If we plug you, they'll think our friend Martin did it. Martin? He sent you here. Maybe. After all, he did say he'd be even with you. Look, look, if he's waiting outside, call him in. I, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll admit I framed him. He, he can't let you shoot me down in cold blood. So Martin told the truth at that. You did frame him. I don't blame him for wanting to get even. But we will get even for him, eh, Senor Blackie? Huh. Each time we get this over with, no? Yeah, that's right. Oh, no, 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 don't do it. I'll clear Martin. I I'll admit I fixed the accounts. Listen to me, please. The funny thing is, Eaton, Martin will never know that we're plugging you and leaving. Then he'll get the blame and go back to prison to hang. This is it, Eaton. Oh, someone shoot through the window. I get you, Eaton. Drop that gun, you. Caramba, it is the sheriff. He will not be taken. Oh, get him, Tano. Uh. Oh, 
Oh, my arm. The Indian shoot me. Sure. Are you all right? No. Oh, just creased the back of my hand. Lucky Tonto was right next to me. Oh, oh Sheriff. Good work, Sheriff. Sheriff. Thank heaven you got here in time. They were going to kill me. They robbed the safe. The gold is in their pockets. Yeah, we were lucky to get here. I, I think they were sent here by Phil Martin. I'm sure of it. Even though they said That's that... That's a lion, you know it, Eaton. Ma- Martin. Yep, it's Phil Martin. He and the rest of us were outside the door. We heard everything that was said in here, including you admitting that you framed Martin two years ago. Sheriff, I'm sure you and your men can take care of these crooks. I uh, suggest you hold Eaton until the express company decides what they want to do in his case. I'll hold him, all right. And believe me, I'll recommend that the express company make Phil Martin their agent in Eaton's place to make up for what he went through. Do you really think they'd do that? I think they will, Phil. Well, come along, Toto. We're through here. Adios, Phil. Adios. Goodbye. Thanks for everything. Come on. Well, uh, that masked man sure had things figured out right. I still don't know exactly who he is, though. Uh, one thing I do know, Sheriff. He's the man who put Blackie Jenkins behind bars with his gang. And what's more, he kept me from doing something foolish by trying to get even with that no-good crook Sam Eaton. <laughs> I reckon Blackie can tell you who that masked hombre is. All right, Jenkins, if you know, then speak up. Yeah, what kind of a lawman are you anyway if you never heard who that masked hombre is? You ought to know he's a Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger? copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Pendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. Listen to the Lone Ranger brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.